Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Inizalea from ToleratedCinematics.com. Today, it's not Filmmaking Friday. Alright, so we did actually a switch up with the filmmaking day, so instead of filmmaking Friday, it's gonna be motion graphics Friday, and then next Monday, it's gonna be filmmaking Mondays, uh, just as a switch up, because it's actually almost Easter this Sunday, uh, happy Easter by the way, but I was working on a template for Easter, because I just... Uh, enjoy this kind of theme and I wanted to create something fun for uh, for Easter uh, to, to send out to people. So uh, I created this template which looks very cute in my opinion and you can actually get it on our website it also includes a tutorial on how to use it and you can modify all the colors but while I was working on this template I was actually going through some techniques that I wanted to share with you guys so you can try something on your own before Easter is um, yeah there so I know it's quite late for Easter but still we have some time left to create something awesome so without further ado let's jump into Adobe After Effects all right so here I am in my template that I'm currently still working on um, but let's continue to our tutorial right here. We have the project manager and I have my bunny here Which I actually created in Adobe Illustrator uh, Right here in the comp bunny v3. I think let's uh, just put it out here and uh, we will be using this bunny So we have a few layers here, uh, so we don't need any of these We just need the bunny comp and we want to animate it because currently the bunny is quite static Okay, the eyes are animating right now because we actually I actually did a kind of animation on here um, which is pretty cool, but it's very static. It doesn't move at all And I just want to quickly animate my character to have some life in it whether it's breathing uh, Whether there's some wind flowing in the air so you can do a lot of cool things very easily in Adobe After Effects So uh, what we will do is just create a new composition very quickly and make it full HD and just rename it to uh, tutorial preview and make it around yeah 15 seconds long I think that's more than enough and click OK so what I want to do in this composition is just drag my bunny composition in here uh, you will have just an illustrator document that you can import in Adobe After Effects to do that is just right click import import file select the bunny you want to use and import it and then you will have the question to import kind composition or footage it doesn't really matter if you don't need the layers but if you want to dive into the layers um, yeah choose composition and then just click OK and that will create a composition uh, like this one here and if we open it up you will get a bunch of layers that you can animate so we don't need that for this composition uh, so I'll just close that down okay so here we are in the composition with our bunny comp um, if we zoom out we just imported the bunny in our composition and it's again yeah like I said very static first of all I will add a quick background because I don't like this kind of color so let's go for a nice blue uh, kind of baby blue color and they click OK and there we have a nice background we'll put that behind our bunny okay so the bunny isn't currently holding any eggs but you can uh, just create your own eggs and put them in his arms and then mask out his little uh, hands if you want to so how I did that very quickly it's actually this has nothing to do with the tutorial but I just quickly want to show you how I did this uh, first of all you need an egg so right here I have a freeze frame from my egg video I will put that on top of my uh, bunny and just press you on the keyboard and just delete all my um, and just delete my position keyframes right here so what I've done is just rotated it with the rotation tool right here and then put it in position where I want it to uh, be holding the egg maybe make it a little bit bigger and then as you can see it's not really holding it so very simply what I've done is I went to the ellipse tool mask and then I just created a simple ellipse like this and then I would uh, go double click on it rotate it a little bit put it in place of its hands and then press M on the keyboard and just subtract this mask and that way it will seem like it's holding um, the egg so that's just a quick tip I wanted to throw out uh, so you can also do the same if you want to so there we go uh, our bunny is now holding an egg but yeah again our bunny is very uh, yeah simple so I will just make this as long as my composition here 
So our bunny, let's click on the composition here. And what we wanna do is go to the beginning of our timeline, actually go to the puppet tool right here. So puppet pen tool. We're gonna click on that. Before we continue this video, I would like to present you our website designed for filmmakers and video editors to improve their workflow. We offer templates, presets, high quality pre-made packs, soundscapes, essential graphics and much more. If you don't have time to create something of your own or you just want to speed up your workflow, definitely check out our website with the link in the description below. And click on your bunny layer and just zoom in a little bit and just start drawing like this right here and one here and just like kind of bones you're creating um, and just point the, the puppet tool at uh, essential points, one, one at the top, one at the center and one at the root of the ear and then for the head we also want to make one in the middle but also one around the neck and then, uh, all, all, and then another one around the chest and like uh, the belly button and just continue like this. So that's all I will need for my, uh, for my bunny here but of course you can go into the feet and uh, also make points for this here and that way you can also go and animate the feet. So now what you have done is if you press U on the keyboard automatically you will see a bunch of keyframes so this immediately creates a keyframe for um, this point. So what we want to do is move one second forward and in this second we just want to go to the points we want to animate and if you click on it and hold and drag immediately it will already animate or actually move everything of our bunny. So let's say we want to move it a little bit like this and like this and this here we want to move it a little bit with the wind. So there we go and just simply move it a little bit uh, so it doesn't have to be very special but a little bit of movement and if you want you can also like uh, slap its feet on the floor like this so you can maybe um, put one up and then around two seconds you want to put this down again and just move the other ones around a little bit more so you have a little bit more variation and you can do this as much uh, as you want here um, but of course you don't have to exaggerate And then continue doing this or what you could do is now select all the points here in the center copy these Control c go to second number three then paste it and then we go and select all of our keyframes like this well actually only our keyframes Control c go one second further and paste it and now it's just going to loop all the animation that we just did this short animation is going to just loop it because we just kind of did a returning animation uh, so we can continue doing this for the rest of our clip so if we're going to preview this immediately your um, bunny is going to have some life so it's going to be a little bit more playful a little bit more dynamic and yeah uh, of course you can really go and do crazy stuff if you want to um, but yeah keep it subtle is my kind of uh, motto but yeah of course you can do whatever with this it's a very fun tool to use and let's say you have some errors within your animation you can also go and show the mesh right here so if you enable your mesh and you actually select the mesh right here in puppet tool you will see a mesh like this and sometimes this can give some errors depends on how special your object is so what you have to do then is just increase this number and the more you have here like if you change it to 500 you will have more meshes and therefore you will have less kind of uh, errors within your image this was a very simplistic image so it didn't give any kind of uh, errors but sometimes it does and then it's easy to just increase the mesh triangles first see if that helps if it doesn't increase it a little bit more if it still doesn't help then there's something else going on you can also go and use an, a record option so if we delete all our uh, keyframes here uh, we can also go for record options and speed 100% smoothing 10% is okay and use draft um, deformation so you can click ok once you have done that what you have to do is hold the control key while you click on a button so let's say our face we want to animate it we'll click on it hold control and start animating it So I did simple circles here and if you release it you will see that you have now simple keyframes that will do the animation for you. So you hold control first then you click on the button you want to animate. You can go back to the beginning hold control again maybe go to this one and also move this one. 
up and down very easy okay and now you have uh, this kind of animation already so of course I'm exaggerating here it's just to show you what is possible even for the belly maybe you want to have it breathing a little bit so hold control and actually when you hold control you will see like a little clock appearing around your cursor so that will make it a little bit easier to see uh, so as you can see if I hover over my buttons here we have this icon when I hold control you get this clock and that means that it will record from the second you click and then you just have to drag around with your mouse so uh, if we click away or actually don't show the mesh we can see our animation so the goal with your recording option is to do this for every single point you want to animate and go through your entire animation so maybe you want to slap this foot let's do this as the last one so hold control go to the beginning of your timeline and then just stamp it Okay, let's see. Okay, it looks cool. You can also select all the keyframes and hold Alt and click on the last keyframe and then drag them in and that's just going to speed it up the animation. So now it's going to tap a little bit faster. And of course you will have a little bit errors. It really depends on how much time and effort you're going to put into it. But the puppet tool is a very, very cool tool uh, to do some simple animations on characters. Whether if it is a still photo of yourself and you just want to, to do some stuff on you. I have tutorials where, you, for example, you could teleport yourself and I'm using the puppet tool to actually warp my body into a different shape. So um, these are all things you can do with the puppet tool. I think it's really underestimated. Too few people know about this tool and I use it like a lot of times so I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did give this video a like also subscribe to the channel for more and definitely check out our website we have a bunch to offer for filmmakers and motion graphics artists and if you buy something it helps to support the channel hope to see you in the next one goodbye